Another main focus of Module 6 of the HSC Biology Syllabus is understanding how scientists have used their knowledge of genetics to create new technologies, these genetic technologies. One key example of this is the production of recombinant DNA. Recombinant DNA is just a fancy way of saying DNA which contains the genes of different organisms. One of the main reasons that we produce recombinant DNA is so that we can have organisms producing the proteins normally expressed in an entirely different species. For example, we could engineer E. coli to express human insulin, so we can really quickly and efficiently produce lots of this insulin for use in treating diseases. So how do we actually create this recombinant DNA? There are a couple of key steps. First, we have to isolate our gene of interest. We take the genome of the organism and we cut out the specific gene that encodes the protein we're interested in. For example, the human insulin. We then need to put this inside of a vector. The usual vector that we use for recombinant DNA technology is a plasmid. Plasmid are small pieces of circular DNA which are found naturally in bacteria. They use them usually to pass DNA from one cell to another. We take our vector and our isolated gene and we need to somehow put them together. To do this, we cut both using restriction enzymes. Restriction enzymes create complementary overhangs which mean that when we combine our gene of interest with our vector, they'll naturally come together through base pairing affinity. We then introduce an enzyme called ligase, which comes along and kind of knits the backbone back together, and we have a new circularized piece of DNA which contains our gene of interest, for example, the human insulin. This means we can now transform this vector, this plasmid, back into the bacteria, and the bacteria will start to churn out lots and lots of copies of our human insulin protein. If we isolate this, we can then use it to treat patients, for example, with diabetes. This is a really simple example of how recombinant DNA technology works, and there are lots of other genetic technologies contained in the syllabus, which you should also know in that same brief amount of detail. Thanks for listening, guys, and I hope you tune in for the next video on Module 7 of the HSC Biology Syllabus.